Hey everyone, and welcome to AB Gameplays, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Switch. So, I believe where we last left off, we were at the Tail Cave. So let's just dive right in and see what kind of horrific monstrosities await us in this first dungeon. Okay, so... Level 1, Tail Cave. What are these supposed to be? I never, I never understood what these were. They like... They like something you could shoot with an arrow, but I don't think they do anything. They're just there. Well, these guys are straight from Mario, so apparently I've already got the key here. Some more wigwams. Oh, by the way, I looked up what wigwams were because I knew it was an actual word. I knew I heard it somewhere, and well, there it is. That's a wigwam. You got the compass. Now you can see where the chest and nightmare are hidden. So instead of fighting bosses in the dungeons in Link's Awakening, you fight nightmares. And well, you'll find out why later. The compass has a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key is nearby. Well, that's helpful. So we got the first key, a key drop there. Um, I guess I played a little bit after I quit last week or last time I played, so. Sorry if you missed me getting the first key. But anyway, yeah, you kill these two guys, you get a key. That's all you missed. All right, let's head on into this dungeon. Oh, there was the tone. I heard it. Get out of here. No. Switch. These dungeons are so... Atmospheric. Another key. I have two keys now. You got a small key. You can open any small door. Alright. Keys. Come here. Come here. What are you? Ah, alright. Now we got a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. I know you also run twice as fast too. Look out for that. So the power, what was it called, a piece of power? It increases your attack. So basically anything that takes one hit or two hits take one now and eh, get away. Basically you're just stronger. Looks like a block puzzle here. Oh, our first puzzle of the game. You move a block and open a door. Move a block, open a door. Come here, come at me, bro. Come at me. And we got a guardian. Guardian acorn. You got a guardian acorn, it will reduce the damage you take by half. Yeah, you'll be seeing that a lot. Goombas. Alright, so. We got Goombas. They look a little more. A little more mischievous in Zelda than they ever have in Mario. See the way their eyes were going? Like, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Wonder why I can't get that because it's floating in the air. Won't be a problem for much longer because I just got the rock's feather. It feels like your body is a lot lighter. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and set that to the Y button. And we'll just jump the rest of the game. I'll take that, even though I didn't need it. Ah, now we can jump over these gaps. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? Ah, little shortcut. Little shortcut. Nope. Oh yeah. How'd you like that maneuver? Doot, 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 doot. Must be a key somewhere. Oh, he's gonna get me. Get out. Get out of the way. Go, go, go. There we go. Ha. Here's a Stalfos. I guess. I've already got. Let's go down. Let's see what's down here. Let's not see what's down there. All right. See ya. 
You're a dumb mistake. What in the world? What are you supposed to be? What is your name, guy? Playing some dodgeball. Or dodge spiky bar. Wow, you were like the easiest mini boss I've ever fought in any game ever. Is that supposed to be a fairy? I, so. I don't have any bottles yet to catch them in. Alright, so we defeated the mini boss and we've got this little warp area now. So now we can warp back to the um, beginning of the dungeon and we have a little shortcut now to and from. Yep. Well, that's handy. Okay, well there's the nightmare layer, but we don't have the nightmare key, so we have to backtrack and get that. Let's see what's up here. Okay, now these guys, you have to try to get them. You have to get all of a kind here. So all three of them have to have either hearts, clubs, spades, or hearts, clubs, spades, or diamonds. So it's going to be about impossible to do it now. So we're just going to respawn them. The best way to do it is to do the, the spin attack right when you can get them all together in one group. A lot of times you get lucky, you can get them all three together at the same time. But most of the time you can get about two and then just time it just right to get the third one. But, which is probably what's going to happen or not. Okay, I got that. All right, orange. Ugh, too early. Try again. Oh, come on, I hit both of those. Oh, All right, blue. All right. All blue clubs. See what we got. Not too hard. You found a stone beak. Now to find an owl statue to fit it into. Well, I got one right here. Turn aside the spined one with a shield. Yeah, I already figured that out. So, no help you were. Come here. Quit jumping. Take it like a man. A skinless man. Where do you think you're going? Oh, you're going to hit me. You're going to hit me. There is a key. That's what that told us. There is a key. A nightmare key. Now you can open the door to the nightmare's lair. Really? I'm already done? I've only been recording for like five minutes. How long have I been recording? Eight minutes? Okay. So. Not a hard dungeon. Just sort of gets you in the dungeon mood, I guess, because it is just the first one. They do get progressively harder. Alright, so it looks like we can bomb this door. But I have no bombs, so we can't. Try to get all get my heart filled up before I fight the boss or the nightmare I should say come here I'm gonna get you got ya what could this be it's not a key I got the map right before I go fight the nightmare so I didn't even need it the whole time I didn't need the map. Well let's take a look at it anyway here. Uh, let's see map okay. I've uncovered almost all the rooms so that was where the the uh, bombable door is so I can't get that yet. So the only thing left is the nightmare. So let's go uh, take take him down. Let's take him down. Just get out of my way. Need 
go there. All right, let's see what our first nightmare is. Are you scared? I know I am. Why? Ah, I just got hit right before I was gonna. Oh, buzz, buzz, outsider. Yeesh. Moldorm. Mm. Moldorm. All right, hit him in the tail. Hit and dodge. Hit and dodge. So you gotta wait for his tail to turn red. And you gotta smack him. Do not let him knock you down. Because if you fall, you have to... Oh gosh. Make your way back up, and you have to start all over again. He regains his health if you fall. Okay. Alright. Four hits, and you got him. Just four hits, and you got him. Alright, so... That was the first dungeon, level one, Tail Cave, in under 10 minutes? No, 11 minutes. Well, not bad. Not bad. I wasn't trying to speedrun that, but that was pretty fast. You got a heart container. Your maximum number of hearts increased and your health has been refilled too. Well, awesome. All right, and we have reached our first instrument. We have found the, the full moon cello. Oh yeah. Play it. Play it, Link. Oh. That is smooth. Yeah. Oh, it's bright. Swamp. Swamp. A path opens in the blooms. Alright, so that was it. That was the first dungeon, the tail cave. Since we did that so quickly, I'm going to keep going. And here comes the owl. Right on schedule. Are you going to show up every time I beat a dungeon? Hoot, that is the, an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. Oh, I'm as real as I get. I'm the real deal. Genuine. Bonafide. That instrument, along with the seven others in this set, has the power to wake the windfish. Seven others. Okay, so we got seven more dungeons. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north in Gaponga Swamp. Hoot indeed. Hoot indeed. Hoot indeed. All right, so we'll go north to the Gaponga uh, uh, Gap um Gaspacho, Gaspacho Swamp. We will. That doesn't sound right. Well, whatever he said that swamp was, that's where we're going to go. Oh, I can jump now. A little shortcut. That was close. How about wimp? Oh, these boys going a little crazy. What's up, guys? Hey, buddy, it's serious. Yeah, real serious. Yeah, it is. The moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of moblins. Then, it's for real. They all went to the house. Yeah, that house. And then they did something at Bow Wow's house. It was a really bad scene with the m m moblins. So, I mean, ah. So, I mean, ah. It might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. What was that? Just me talking to myself? I guess so. What's going on? What's going on, Madam Bow Wow? Or Madam Meow Meow. Sorry. Aye! It's terrible. My Bow Wow was dognapped by m m moblins. Oh, ah! Please, somebody help my poor Bow Wow. I'll save the Bow Wow. Which way did he, which way did he go? You're no help. I'll just cut some grass in the meantime. TR decided to calm down and tell me exactly what's going on. Oh, what we got here? You found a secret seashell, but what do you do with it? Why don't you tell me? I'm gonna go to shopping. Your bow will be fine for a little bit. I'm just gonna go shopping. I need some bombs. I need some bombs, man. Why you don't sell bombs? Hey, welcome. See something you like? I don't see bombs. Just bring it here. Um, I like this shovel. 
I'm just gonna take it. Hey, you stop. You gotta pay. Put it back. Fine. Get some bombs, okay? Such dramatic music. I wonder what's... If it plays the whole time until I bring the Bow Wow back. Link, Terran's taking a nap at home. I don't know how he can sleep on such a nice day. It makes me want to sing a song. Yes, the song is Ballad of the Windfish. Oh, that's nice. All my cares just float away. Sing it, Marin. Sing it out. You like this, don't you? It seems to be totally absorbed in Marin's song. Oh, yeah, I hear you. Me too. Alright, see ya. Alright, let's go save the Bow Wow. That's enough screwing around. We'll go save the Bow Wow now. We'll go save the Bow Wow. Still can't get through there. Okay. We'll go the long way around. Oh, you still singing. You sing it, girl. You sing it, girl. She's gonna just, just gonna stay there and sing all day. Well, the whole town's in an uproar because of a missing bow wow. She's just gonna stand there and sing. You gotta move on. I mean, you just gotta move on with your life. People, somebody steals your bow wow. You just sing. Just sing about it. Did y'all steal the bow wow? Where the bow wow at? Huh? Where the bow wow at? Bonk. Do it again. Come at me. Yeah. Get out of my way, butts. Get out of my way, butts. You got a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. Yep, I'm also two times faster, so watch out. Yeah, jumps. Got me a piece of heart. Got me a piece of heart. Jumps. Tall, tall heights. Or tau tau heights. How do you pronounce that? Just one L? Tau tau? I don't know. Alright. Well, this looks like a place where the moblins would hide out. The windfish in name only, for it is neither. The windfish in name only, for it is neither. Okay. So, what we got here? Oh, I heard a bow wow. Did y'all hear that? Here we go. Bro, bro. Aaron, who's the suspicious looking runt? Not a runt. I'm a big strong boy. Do I look like a runt to you? Nah. Okay, boys, let's get rid of them. You can try. You're welcome to try. I got a piece of power. Yeah, I got a piece of power. All y'all gonna die. Y'all don't have a chance with my piece of power. Yeah, look at that. I just swung my sword two times and killed... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, crap. I just traded the stupid... I mean, I just traded my power Triforce thing for a stupid acorn. Or do I have both? No, I don't have both. No, it doesn't work that way. I would have rather had the power. Come at me, yo. Charge it up. Just dodge. Game's all about... Game's all about dodging. Dodging and striking when... Oh, time is ready. Come at me. Get you some of that. One more time, I'll do it. Just get out of my way. Oh. Yeah, teach you a lesson. Where the bow wow at? Come here, fairy. Come here. Yeah, I got the bow wow. I got the bow wow. Hey, get him. Come on. Oh, here we go. I'm trying. Okay, there we go. You saved Bow Wow. What a fearsome beast. Alright. How long do I gotta play this game with this guy attached to me? And what good is he? What can you do? Can I spin you around my head and throw you at enemies? That'd be cool. I want to take you home. I want to take you home to Madame Meow Meow. Oh, come on. I just saw you like two minutes ago. Hoot, that's a fearsome looking animal you have there. Bow Wow, attack! Do not forget the next instrument is Gaponga Swamp. What did I say? Gaspacho Swamp? 
Gapongo Swamp. No, Gapongo Swamp. Where is Gapongo Swamp? It's just right over here. Right there. I thought I heard something. Ooh, there's a shark in the water. Let's take this guy home, and then we'll go to the Gapunga Swamp. Oh, nice! He just ate that guy. Eat him. Do it again. Yeah! I ain't even got a fight. I ain't even got a fight. I ain't even got a fight. No fighting for me. He's do it all. Wolf dig roof. Wolf dig. He's telling me to dig. I don't have a shovel. Oh, he'll tell you where secrets are hidden. Can I fight something, please? This one's, this one's mine. This one's mine. This one's mine. This one's mine. Get your own. How much does the shovel cost? 200, it was 200 rupees for the shovel, right? 200 rupees. I'm not near there yet. I might want to... I'm not hanging on to this guy until I'm able to uncover everything that I can while he tells me where to dig. So I got to save up some money for a shovel. I wonder how long that'll take. i would have to chop some grass. Oh, there's plenty of grass. I'm just going to chop this down until I have 200 rupees. This may take a while, guys. Bear with me. We'll get there. Oh, there's got to be a faster way to do this. There's got to be a faster way. Let's see what's in here. Yeah. Yeah, there's a purple rupee. I'm going for it. Purple's worth 50. I just got to play this game one time, grab a few more rupees out there in the grass, and then... Oh, I didn't even read that. The buttons move the crane. The rest is just timing. Good luck. What? All right. Oh, that got it. That got it. I'm so rich now. Totally my rupee. That's totally my purple rupee. Bring it in, boys. Bring it in. Yeah. Well, I gotta get that Yoshi. I've gotta get that Yoshi. Challenge again? Don't mind if I do. All right, we're going for the Yosh. Yep. Nice and easy, yep. He's mine. Got him. Snatch. Snatch him right up. Bring it on in, Yoshi. Bring it on in. You see that piece of heart right there? It says Link on it. It's got my name all over it. I'm gonna get that piece of heart. Yeah, challenge again. Get the heart. Get the heart. Stop. Man, I'm so good at this. I win. Grabbed. You don't get no better than that. What in the? That was a total ripoff. Yeah. I don't need luck. I'm gonna get this. That could not be more on it if it falls out episode over. Yeah, that is in there. Bring it on in. Yeah, look at that. I got triple prizes. Nope, I'm good. I got everything. I already have a shield and I got plenty of magic powder, so this is all mine. Got 50 rupees. Got a heart piece and a Yoshi. Got a Yoshi doll. You can't count how many games you've seen him in now. That's true. Yoshi's been in a lot of games. Zelda and Mario. All right, so let's go see if we can, how much money? <laughs> Suni, his name's Suni. Whoa, you won the Yoshi doll. We've been trying to do that forever. Well, too bad, kid, it's mine. Our mom is really desperate to have one. Well, she can come and get her own. So, back off. This is my Yoshi doll. I won it fair and square. Okay, I'm going to play this game one more time. I'm going to hope for that, that purple rupee 
respawns in here and I can play this game one more time. Get another 50. Oh, it's not there. I'm trying again. Come on, I want 50. Get out of the way. Come on, purple rupee. Oh man, it's not going to be there. Okay, well, I'll just chop some more grass. Hopefully I'll get it pretty quickly here. Ten more. Oh, five more. Oh, that shovel is mine. Totally my shovel now. All right, so I got the 200 rupees. We're going to go buy a shovel. All right. Deluxe shovel. I'll take it. I'm, I don't care if it's expensive. I'm buying it. Oh, yeah. Now let's return this bow wow and go to uh, dungeon number two, the Capongo Swamp. Hey, you stop singing. Sing it out. Sing it on out. Yeah, sing it. There you go. I love it. I got your dog. I got your bow wow. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you brought my baby back. Now, would you be a deer and take him for a walk? It would really help me out a lot. You will? I guess. Thanks. Well, I did want to go and dig up whatever treasure he's able to sniff out for me. So, sure, I'll take your dog for a walk. Back to the mysterious forest, and up north to the Capongo Swamp. You gonna eat him? You just gonna stand there? All right, thank you. Don't let me down. Don't you let me down? Get him! Get him! Don't let him! Don't let him attack me! Get him! Get him! Sneak attack! Get him! I'll find him do it myself. Oh, you're too late. You're too late. Oh, wolf dig wolf. I don't mind if I do. I'll dig. Oh, look at that. Got myself a seashell. Sea, secret seashell by the seashore. But what do you do with it? We got in here. Who lives in here? Who lives in this quaint little college? You got to clean up a little bit, man. You got to hire a maid. Jeez. Well, I pretty much stick to myself, me and my letters. My name's Wright. The only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. That's sad. That is sad. Oh, sorry, old man. Maybe you should write something a little more worth, uh, worthwhile. I had that one. All right, this looks like a swamp. Yeah, we're in the Gapanga Swamp. Danger, keep out, except Bow Wow. Alright, well I got a Bow Wow, so... Shout in the water. Alright, yeah. So I can't do anything about those flowers, so I need the Bow Wow to... Um, eat them for me. There you go, eat them. Eat them up. Alright, now we can enter... Just, just eat them all, why don't you? Alright, you want to come in here too? You want to wait outside? You stay there. Be a good boy. Be a good boy. I'm going to go handle my business. You be a good boy. All right. Level two. Bottle Grotto. All right. Let's check this place out. Oh, this looks like something I can sprinkle a little dust on. Sprinkle. Go. I was right. Oh, wait. Uh, there we go. I gotta have the Y button be be the feather. Oh, that one. Uh, that one does a little stomp action on you. Okay. Got me a first key. Got my first key of the dungeon. This game does auto save, by the way. Like every time you get a key, or just ever so often, it does auto save. But it's always a good idea to do a hard saver every once in a while, too. 
With a shy guy. Tough guy. Tough shy guy. You gotta hit him in the back. Hit him in the back. Get a chest. I got the compass. You got the compass. Now you can see where the chest and nightmare are hidden. This compass has a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key's nearby. I love the music in this game. The old switcheroo. Ha ha, you got stuck. Do, 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 do. Oh, you want some? What is that? Uh, it's not a Stalfos. What is that called? I don't remember. Got another key. Do, 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 do. Man, there's keys everywhere in here. There it is. Moving right along. You got a small key, it can open a locked door. Oh, I would think it could open a locked door. Kill a couple more shy guys. Uh oh. How'd you dodge that? Oh, uh, what are you doing way over there? Can't get to that. I gotta go all the way around. Oh man, poo. I got a key. I got three keys. I better find some doors to unlock. Let's go this way. Let's go to the left. I have a feeling I'm missing something. Hmm. Okay, well. No, oh, I can fix that. Move it. Move it. Stop. Stop. Yeah. We can open this door. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Didn't see those. Come here. Ha. Oh, look out. Oh, look out. Excuse me. Aha. How am I to get that chest? Are you in the way? Get out of the way. Get, 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 get. I got the stone beak. Now to find the owl statue. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, I gotta kill that thing to get it across, don't I? Uh -huh. Okay. I'm over here. Now I'm over here. And jump. Ow. Haha, -ha, see ya. Whoa. Haha, -ha, I remembered you that time. Ow. Oh, my hearts are getting low. Not paying attention to my hearts. Okay. Gotta find some hearts. Gotta find some hearts. Give me some hearts. That didn't work. Okay. That works in a previous Zelda game, but for some reason that doesn't work in this one. It's supposed to be able to use some magic dust and get a fairy from that guy. But here's a game that came and said no. You could do that in the last Zelda game, but no, you can't do it in this one. Oh, there we go. Got me some hearts now. So now the annoying beeping goes away. Boink. Boink. Come at me. Plunk. Stab. Slash. Open the door. Alright. Keys. Get out of the way. You ain't gonna get me. You ain't gonna get me. What'd that do? Ooh, a secret door. A secret staircase. What you got on your mind? Make every block design the same, a new path will open. Hmm. I guess I have to remember that. Make every block design the same, a new path will open. Alrighty. Whee! I love the way these side scrolling levels or sections look. 
I know I've said it before, but I love the art style in this game. I love that they took a new direction. Every time I play Zelda, it just feels... Not like a new experience, but it just has so much replay value. What in the world? A Cyclops? Oh, okay. So he's a mean one. Alright. You missed me. Miss me. Come to get me. Miss me. Come to get me. Oh, okay. You got me. Ow. Ow. Ah, oh, jeez. Stop it. Stop it. Don't fall down the hole. Ha! Gotcha. But like, every time I play a Zelda game, I just look forward to what the future holds for Zelda. I mean, go back like 30 years. Zelda's coming up on their 35th anniversary. That's 35 years of Zelda games. Look how far they've come. So next year will be the 35th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda. And I can't wait to see. I hear they're going to be doing some kind of remakes or re-releases. They're doing that for Mario. We're in the 35th anniversary of Mario this year. And they're supposed to be releasing some remastered versions of classic games, including my all-time favorite Mario game, um, Super Mario 64. I heard that game was going to be remastered. I hope that's true. And if it is, I can't wait for that. That's going to be awesome. But if they, if they remaster Mario games for the 35th anniversary, who's to say they wouldn't remaster Zelda games for Zelda's 35th anniversary? First defeat the imprisoned Pole's voice... Last, the Skeletal Stalfos. First defeat the Imprisoned Pole's voice. Last, the Skeletal Stalfos. But yeah, wouldn't that be awesome if they remade, like, The Legend of Zelda, the original Legend of Zelda, with, like, remastered graphics? That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. I would play that. I gotta get that chest. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got the map. Halfway to the dungeon is when I get the map. You're not going to get me. Do I got a key? I do. I do have a key. Man, so many characters from Mario. This is uh, the booze. Booze from Mario. Just light the torches and they run away. Run away crying. What have we got here? Alright, we got the power bracelet. At last, you can pick up pots and stones. At last, I can pick up pots and stones. How do I equip it? Oh, okay. It's automatically equipped. That's good. In the original Game Boy game, you had to equip... You had to equip the power bracelet. And every time you wanted to pick up a pot, you had to go into the menu screen, select the power bracelet, to, just to pick something up to get out of your way. But in this, they saw the error of their ways, and they made it where it's just equipped all the time. So now we can just go picking up pots, smashing stuff. Just the way I like it. Just the way I like it. Another key. Alright. Get the old bots out of the way. Get on. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. Ow. Okay, so what did that note say? Defeat the Pole's voice, Pole's voice first, then the last the skeleton thing. Stop it! I'm trying to kill the Pole's voice. I'm trying to kill the Pole's voice first. Stop! Stop! How do you move this thing? I got it. Gotta move this first. Gotta move that. Oh, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Rud. Come here. Alright, that. Now it's all you. Yeah. Got it. And I got some hearts to get to. So this must be the nightmare key. Yes. Got the nightmare key. So that means we can go fight the nightmare. And I still have another. Okay, that's where the key goes. Moving right along. I know how to you have a pot. Has a pot. You has a pot, and you has a pot. Everybody in this room can have pots.
I'll just take the stairs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Going down. Oh, a little tough guy I see. Well, I know what to do for tough guys. I know just what to do for tough guys. Ah, uh, get you some of that. Oh, man, poo! I didn't go down far enough. Here, I got a honey pot. Looks like a honey pot. It's like honey's coming right out of the right out of the end there. Stop it up top. I'll just stop it up top. All right, we have reached the second nightmare of the second level. Let's see what let's see what awaits. What is that? It's a bottle. A genie in a bottle. Ho, ho, ho. I'm your bad guy this time. Ho, ho, ho. Are you Santa Claus? You don't look like Santa Claus. Genie. Real creative they got with that name. Last time we had Muldorm. Now we just have Genie. Lazy developers. You're going to throw fire at me. Yeah. Can't hit me. Yeah. Pick it up. Uh, I can't move, but I'm still all right. Your little sword won't break this bottle. Even the walls here look tougher than that dinky thing. Well, then I'll just throw you into a wall. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, yeah, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. What are you, what are you, two? Throw it, I dare you. Yeah. Look at me dodging. I can dodge fire. Come at me. I'll just do it again. I'll do this all day. Now what? Now what? You got can do it again. Third time's a charm. Come in for me. Oh, yeah. What you gonna do now? I broke your bottle. Wah, you broke my bottle. Why, you make me hopping mad. Look out. Ow. Oh man, I gotta be careful. I got like one and a half hearts left. I cannot die. I will not die. I'm gonna die. How do you dodge that thing? Got him. Got him right before I died, too. I had like, I probably have like half a heart left. Where am I? Am I that big glowing orb? If I die right now. Oh gosh, what happens? What happens when you kill a boss and die at the same time? Do I have to fight him again, even though I killed him? I'm gonna be mad if I do. That's never happened to me before. I've never died at the same time I killed a boss. I hope he's still dead. Please be still dead. Please still be dead. Please be dead. Just be dead. Just stay dead. Move it. Oh, I missed the chest. I hope he's still dead. That was kind of hard. I mean, I didn't know how to dodge those other fireballs. They were like homing missiles. They were coming at me. I couldn't get away from them. He better be dead. Hit the thing. Move it, bot. Move. 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 Get. 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 Just get there already. Oh. <laughs> How do I climb that ladder with a pot in my head? On my head. You're not even holding it in your hands. It's just on your head. Oh, please be dead. Please still be dead. I bet he's still dead. He's probably not dead. I'm probably going to have to fight him again. 
Oh, yes. Nice. Nice. All right. You got a heart container. Your maximum number of hearts increased and your health has been refilled too. All right, so we just beat two dungeons in one day. And oh, I've been recording for that long. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop it here. I'm gonna get this conch shell and end the episode here. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Tune back in for part three. You got the conch horn. Oh, that sounds good. Nice. All right. See you guys.